Man, uh, you know, it's a, a blessing to win. Thankful, uh, you know, for man, just a win. The other last night, man, you're watching some of those games and uh, my good buddy Matt Driscoll pulled off a big road win at uh, South Carolina, you know, and um, after losing his best player to Tennessee, you know, and, and so it's hard to win, right? And so uh, um, we're still not at full strength, um, but uh, it's a uh, man, joy to have Max Jones back out there. And, um, you know, I think uh, you'd asked me, you know, how is he going to handle being a role player? And I tell you, you hadn't seen him play yet. You don't know if he's going to be a role player or not. And the um, good thing about having weapons is that it can be anybody's night. And uh, tonight, uh, Max was really good. And so was David, I thought. Yeah, and with that, just how good was David and what uh, kind of got into him tonight? I mean, he, he had one of his best games. Yeah, um, you know, I think he paid attention to the scouting report. We felt like we could impact them on the glass uh, offensively. And, um, man, he, did, he, did, he set the tone early when we were struggling. Um, you know, one of the things that we can't, we can't be a team that uh, our defense is dictated by our offense. And, and right now, you know, we're, we're probably more, you know, we get energy from seeing the ball go through the hole. And uh, we, got, we, we have to correct that. But um, Dave's energy and effort allowed us to stay close enough that when we went on a run, we was able to take a lead. And so, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him because he works really, really hard, you know, and uh, we have a ton of confidence in him. And so uh, very, very, very thankful. And that run to close the end, you know, uh, you had Max and you, you had Brendan hitting those three pointers. I think they hit about 12 at one point, <laughs> but um, really, really kind of helped help spark you guys. Um, Talk, talk about just that transformation uh, toward the end of the, of the first half. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, everybody saw Brendan make the shot and Max make the shot, but really, like, like Doug was 8-2 to two assist to turnover today, and uh, I think every one of their shots were catch-and-shoot shots, and uh, that, that's what we really work on. So the, the, our guards and our, their teammates was able to get them the ball and right so, so they can in a shooting pocket so they, they can get them off, and um, th th those guys can really shoot the ball. What does it say about Coleman's versatility? He didn't maybe have as many points tonight, but he had nine rebounds, five assists. Yeah, Co Coleman is one of the few guys whose um, energy level is not impacted by scoring, right? Like, he actually, I, I'm actually trying to force him to take more shots. Uh, you know, I think I mentioned he was shooting like 57% from three at practice. He just doesn't take enough. He's got to, he turns down too many uh, that I felt I needed to take. And so it's, it's great to have a guy out there who his energy comes from getting his teammates shots or, you know, making, you know, little plays that other people don't see, whether, you know, it's being in the middle of the press and making the, the pass that leads to the, the assists or, you know, setting a screen or not setting a screen because he knows that it'll confuse him uh, by slipping out of it. And, and so his IQ really um, helps us uh, as a team. Then just nine turnovers tonight. How nice is it to see that number so low? <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. It was the last time we, we had single-digit turnovers, right? And uh, so, no, um, you know, our staff, our staff did a great job in recruiting. We brought in better ball handlers, decision makers. And, um, you know, so it's, it's, it's great to not have to scheme passes, right? Like we can scheme shots. On Monday, you mentioned how important or I guess how beneficial a guy like Max is with his size uh, in the lineup. Did you sort of see some of that versatility come when he was be able to, you know, be on the floor as a six foot four guard? Um, yeah, well, we see it in practice, you know, just his impact and, and the impact in the rotation, right? Like, so if Max is on the floor, he could be a big two for us. And now you have a six five point guard in CJ and you have Max at the two and you have Coleman at the three and, you know, whoever at the four and the five, and you're really big, or you can you don't lose anything in rebounding. Um, you know, Max had three offensive rebounds for us, and when you move him to the three, right, and now you can move Coleman or Chore to the four, one of them at the five, and now they have great spacing, and it's easy for for the guard. So, um, yeah, Max Max's versatility and his skill level allows us to do a lot of things. We saw Max put his body all over the place to try and get the ball, and he tried to save a couple of rebounds throughout the second half. Uh, 
How happy does that make you as a coach to see a guy sacrificing his body that much to try and make a play? Well, you know, it's really interested, interesting that you worded it the way you did because we, we made cards, uh, asked every guy something that they would sacrifice for the team to have an impact on us. And Max put his body. And the, last night, every guy explained why. And Max was like, well, you know, I'm, I've never been the guy who dove on the floor, or did certain things. You know, my body, I, you know, I've always been the score, and now I'm willing, to, I'm willing to do those things to help our team win. And so it's, it's really cool to see a young man say, hey, fellas, I'm going to do this for you guys, and then go out and do it. You know, because a lot of people talk, but they don't follow through. Late in the first half, it seemed like the offense was able to get going when you guys were able to go a little bit faster off of rebounds and sort of push the tempo a little bit. Uh, how important was that for the offense? Against this team, yes, because we felt on film like we could get out and transition against them because they press, right? Like they make a bucket. Um, they're thinking guards up, you know, get ready to press and pressure. And so if we could get clean rebounds and throw a good outlet pass, we felt like we could get out and transition. Jerome, it wasn't effortless tonight. I'm wondering what you kind of shared with your team when you were down in the early going. They were playing harder than us. You know, um, that's it. They, the, the, the New Orleans kids, they came in here to win, right? And they, they were playing with an effort. And then they saw the ball go in the hole, so then they had confidence, too. And so, um, you know, we, we just ha we had to, we have to play harder than the other team to give ourselves a chance to win. It doesn't matter what name is on the front of the jersey. And um, so, and, and the guys responded. Brennan had the third most minutes for you guys. Obviously, the scoring speaks for itself. How happy are you with everything else that he's doing defensively, you know, run, running off screen? It's everything else that he does aside from shooting the ball. Yeah, um, well, we're, we're challenging him to not be the pick-on guy, you know, like where teams look and go, okay, that's the guy we can attack defensively and and he's embracing it and and you know this is a change for him right like last year I think when he played here he played six minutes right might, might have averaged about 10 minutes of games last year you know maybe and then in our first exhibition game he played 20 something and but he did the same routine that he was doing at his other school um, before the game that's why five minutes into the second half he cramped up so he has to learn a new route. What do I need to do with my body? What do I need to do with my – all those things so that I can play 25, 30 minutes a game, you know. And, uh, and so he's learning that, and we're learning it. And, and, and now we're going to learn how do we handle watching film on a scout and that, uh, for watching film that we just played, be having go to practice and correct those, come back, watch a scout, and then prepare for the next team all in, you know, 36 hours. And so um, – you know, it's, 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 we're all learning things. But, but, man, Brennan, he loves this place. Like, that, that's something, like, I mean, he just loves this place. Like, this is uh, Manhattan, Kansas, uh, you know, is, is like the perfect place for him. Yeah, and so, and you can see it in his, the way he is appreciative of things and uh, when you hear him talk about the place and, and then how he interacts with people. So, yeah, so thankful for him. Coach, who talked you into letting the uh, the guys during the starting lineup have their own walkout songs? Um, well, I actually think it's really cool in baseball, right? Like all those guys have their walkout songs, so I thought that was really cool. And then um, Reem said, Coach, the fellas would like a walkout song. I was like, well, that's great. I don't know why we didn't do this beforehand. So, yeah, I, I think it's really cool. I don't know what each guy's song, song is, uh, so don't ask me that. But, I mean – you know, man, this thing is supposed to be fun. And, uh, and I, I like every guy having his own personality. And, and the fact that they brought it to the table, that's exciting because they're thinking and they're talking and they're, they're, they're just – and they, they made us better. I think it makes us better. That's pretty cool you, you caught that. Uh, Max and, uh, and Brendan said they're roommates. Do you, got, do you influence that at all as far as – like who guys together? Do you put your three-point shooters together, or is that <laughs> no. just? You know, you know we do? might need to switch roommates and put them with some of the other guys, and and maybe they'll the other guys will catch the disease. 
uh, of making threes. No, um, you know, those guys, they pick. Coach Marco does the roommates and puts personalities together. Those guys worked out together all summer long. And, um, you know, they're both, you know, very mature young men, right? Like in the, how they approach things. And so, um, and I think they both like to, well, I know Brennan likes to fish. And I think he might have uh, taught Max how to fish a little bit. So. For a chore, was it just maybe too much time away from the team with his family matters to not play yeah, tonight? Yeah, I mean, he, he got back today and uh, shoot around. So, you know, um, sorry for his loss and, you know, what it went through. But, you know, thankful that he's back. And, um, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll be all right going, going forward. You mentioned yesterday that you felt during the exhibition the guys were maybe a little bit tight. Uh, is that something that you saw in the beginning of the game, or, or did you sort of see them loosen up today? No, yeah, no, it wasn't just the guys that was a little tight. It was the, the staff was tight. We was all like, you know, it just was, and I could, you know, felt I didn't. I went back and watched the film, and I didn't smile one time during the game, you know, and and they feed off of that, you know, and so um, early in the game we just missed shots. And we let them make shots, you know. And, and well, they, we didn't let them. They rose up and made some shots, right? And um, and then we just had to get going. And so that it wasn't a tightness today. Anything else for coach? Thank you, coach. All right, thank you guys. Go Cats.